Bonafide Hustler here and I'm on the road. I'm heading to an interesting destination and you're definitely going to come with me. What's going on guys? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of the spaceship at a gas station, intergalactic fuel stop. Let's face it, on the way to an amazing place and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised where it is. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff, right? And uh, you'll see, you'll see, uh, you'll see. Hey babe. Hi babe. You got your Austin sweatshirt on. Sweatshirt. We're going to a mystery place. I haven't told the people where we're going. Okay. Are we going somewhere cool? Mm, super cool. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go, here we go. Oh. 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 Currently we're in New Mexico. We're heading to our special destination. It's a beautiful day outside. And uh, we probably have about six more hours of driving ahead of us, so uh, five hours maybe. Okay, five hours of driving ahead of us. And it's looking like a, it's a nice day. It's a nice, chill day. Just sitting here listening to uh, Joe Rogan's podcast here and there, watching a couple movies on the phone. A lot of fun. Uh, but you'll see where we're going here in a second. So we just got into town. We are spending about four or five days here in Durango, Colorado, which is in the southern part, southern part of Colorado. Anyway, we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff down here. We want you guys to come. We just pulled into town. We're gonna to go to our uh, Airbnb, whatever we have, right? Airbnb. Yep. And uh, this is a fantastic town. If you ever get a chance to come to Durango, Colorado, I'm telling you, this is one of the coolest towns of all time. So we're gonna do all sorts of stuff out here. You'll see uh, through the progression of this vlog. But uh, I'm getting hungry, so. We're Dang, man. Serious cops in Durango. Holy moly. Uh, we were here in February, right? So, yeah, we were just here not too long ago. And, uh, we wanted to come no back. Snow this yeah, we wanted to come back at a time where there wasn't any snow. This town's known for having like really cool stuff and choo choo train. My kind of place. So, we've been driving for about 13 hours. I'm really glad to be here. I can't wait to just do fun stuff here because it's just. This town is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then wait till we show you historic Durango. Oh, it's amazing. You'll see. All right, we're almost to our Airbnb. We're staying on the very outskirts of Durango. The last time that we stayed here, we stayed like in the middle of the forest. Uh, but yeah, we're staying on the outskirts of Durango. Oh, we're about to get to our Airbnb. Just sitting here in an elevator. Here's my hand. My mouth. small place but we'll find a place for these bikes that's for sure so this is the place we just got into it we put my bike over there Whitney's bike is in the bedroom it's really small yeah, it's super tiny. Um, but yeah we're here in Durango we're in our Airbnb that's like what 90 bucks a night something like that it's a little small one one let's go look at the outside here let's see what it looks like let's see if we approve this outdoor view here <laughs> Oh wow, this outdoor view is awesome. There we go, that's beautiful. I like that. It's pretty. Now, I think the gym is like right here. Someone work out every morning over down there somewhere. Yeah, this is pretty, I'm super hungry. I'm gonna go look at the bedroom. So here's the living room. 
It's cute. Yeah, it's a cute little place, little TV. It's super tiny. Yeah, it's, I wonder how much this place is. We got a little bathroom and stuff. We got a tiny little bed. Got Whitney's bike over there. Oh, this is neat. It's a very small bed. Nice little wood tables, heater, AC unit right there, I guess. This is cool, I like it. I approve, what do you guys think? We're barely gonna be in this place. Take don't be sell, me, don't be selfieing. <laughs> All right, so getting ready to get out of here and go to maybe a steam, what is it called? Uh, Steamworks, I think. Steamworks. It's a pizza and burger place. It has a brewery attached to it. This is what I'm wearing today. Got a simple O'Neill zip up, marmot pants, and some Vans. It's kind of cold, so I might bring the other marmot down jacket with me right here. So let's get out of here. All right, so we're in downtown Durango right now. We are gonna be at the pizza place soon. Historic Durango downtown is like right here and all the buildings start getting really pretty. Um, definitely stuff that's very reminiscent of the, it's very much like the gold rush type style of buildings. Today is day one of the uh, World Series. So by the time this is edited, it'll probably be over. But um, yeah, so this place is probably gonna be jam packed. All right, so we're sitting here at Steamworks. About to get in this place. Let's go. It's a pretty cool chair. Cool. Neat. All right, so we're here at Steamworks, and this is what we got. I still have it. Game right there. So we're finally, finally picking back, watching the game. We've got some beer, which is very good. What'd you get, a stout of some sort? Yeah, backside stout. Backside stout right there. And I got, what is it called? A nitro. What did I get mine? Uh, I, got, I forget what she said. That's I don't even know what this is called. This is really, really good. All right, so our appetizer has come. What is this thing, spinach dip? Spinach and artichoke dip. Okay, spinach and artichoke dip. Whitney goes bonkers over this bread. This is like beer batter bread, something like that. Yes. Look at how thick this bread is, guys. It's so good. Oh my gosh, that is straight <laughs> thickest bread ever. All right, come on. For YouTube right here. I'm gonna let the people comment on this one bite. The first bite of food in Durango. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's probably hot. Oh, I'm super hot. <laughs> is it good though? It's very good. Huge. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at what Whitney got. What is this thing? It's a flat iron steak. Oh my gosh. That looks incredible. And I got a unburger, which is like basically buffalo sauce, blue cheese, some fries. We're going to dig into this stuff, guys. It looks amazing. So we're going to get this food. Sweet a bit. It's a neat place. I like this place. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the spaceship. We're gonna go home and get a good night's rest because tomorrow is day one in Durango. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We don't even know really what we're gonna do with it. That's why we're gonna go home and research this whole thing. She's tired. <laughs> She's tired. All the and, uh, Yeah, so uh, we'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. Let's go look at the outside. Oh, it's freezing out here. Yeah, it looks nice. Check that out. So we're gonna head somewhere down there today. At the latter part of the day, we'll be down there somewhere. We might catch breakfast in Durango down there. First, it's time to work out. I have to get a workout done. <laughs> Got a little pre-workout here. Whoa. So this is what we gotta work with right here. Yeah, we can make it happen right here. Look at this. So I have to do back today. I guess I'm gonna get started somehow here. I can get it done, I can get it done.
the workout. Let's go get our pants on and do some fun stuff today. All right, so we're getting ready to we're getting ready to depart. We're gonna gas the car up and then maybe make to it. We might make it to a pass today, and then this town called Telluride. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but uh, yeah, I have to go get everything into the car. Get the Yetis in the car. Get this bike rack off, and off we go. So it should be any second now. We should get out of here. We're on our way to Silverton, which is a town that's about 45 miles away. And then we're gonna pick up an off-road like entrance from there called Ofer Pass. It's gonna take us to a neat town called Telluride. So we're gonna do that here in a second. Uh, still got an hour of driving this way. Check out how beautiful it is outside, guys. If you haven't figured out whether I wanna live here or not, I think the answer is yes, right? Yes. Goals. I would take any one of these houses, okay. any one of them. Hashtag goals. Hashtag goals, for real. <laughs> so we are, you know, the train goes probably eight, 10 miles an hour, something like that, and we're going like 60. I think we caught up to it. I think I see the, the smoke of the actual train right here. So here's the tracks, right? And that train I know is up here. It's gotta be. There it is. Oh yeah. Or it's, it's getting some water. Yeah, it's getting water for steam, see? Oh yeah. Right there. There it is. There's the choo-choo. Okay, so we're almost at Silverton, which is, once we round this one corner right here, we'll show you what it looks like from the top. It's super nice. It's a mining town from back in the day. There it is. Pretty little town. So there's little town. Oh, it's so pretty. So once we get down there, we're gonna gas up, then we're gonna get into the pass that brings us to Telluride. You can even see the river down there. And the train might make it here today. I don't know if it's on its three hour journey or five hour journey or even who knows how, however many hours. I know it takes a while to get to Silverton, but it will come down this way. So there are railroad tracks. You can barely see them, but they're right there. All right, so someone at the gas station at Silverton told us about this place called Clear Lake that's very close and he says it's like totally awesome. So we're going on a little off-road right now, about 30 minutes in, 30 minutes out. We should be at the lake. But this is what it looks like right here. We're on this trail. I'm not even in four-wheel drive. It's just pretty easy stuff, nothing crazy. It is pretty nice though. Man, we're not even at the lake. Check out this view, guys. This is nuts. Look, look behind me. What? It's crazy. It's pretty nice, it's really nice. All right, we're definitely in four wheel drive now. That's a waterfall. There's a waterfall up there. More like Whitney do a little <laughs> off-roading. <laughs> so there goes Whitney, she's off-roading behind me. It's probably her first time off-roading. having a blast. <laughs> I'm so scared. Just go straight. All you gotta do is just make, maintain going slow. Do not go fast. Just keep going slow. Even if it opens up, you just keep going slow. Okay, now we're deep in the trail. It's really pretty. It's supposed to be a really nice lake at the end of this one, so we'll see if we can find that. It's very narrow. We've already come across one person that was coming down the opposite way. And we had to pull over to the side, which there really wasn't much room at all. But anyway, that's the nice view out there, right? Yep. Guys, check out this view. This is crazy. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Like we're completely mind blown looking at this stuff. But there's something even better. Wanna see it? <laughs> All right, we're looking for this lake right here. And uh, it could be in the middle of this, I don't know. We've been, we've been searching forever for this lake. This is it? <laughs> yeah, there's a lake. Oh yeah, it is. Look, whoa, oh, cool. that's super red. Yeah, you can even camp here and stuff. Half of it's frozen right there, a little bit already. Wow. Wow, a lake in the freaking top of the mountains. Who would have ever known? 
That's really neat, actually. Wow. In the middle of the mountains. Unbelievable. I can't remember the last time I've actually had this much quiet around me. That's all you hear. Wow. This is awesome. to breathe out here. <sighs> About to leave this lake behind. See you later, lake. It was nice knowing you. Hey, Whitney. What? What are you doing? Get him back in the car. Before but tell people about me. this thing. What is that? It's the switchbacks all the way down. Yep, we're gonna go all the way down all there. The trails going this is pretty. Down over there. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? It's probably about a 9. Alright, we're on our way to Ofer Pass. Definitely more off-roading left to go. And then we'll be in Telluride. Telluride's pretty. Okay, so we just came from like way back there, and I think we're we're coming to this part where it looks like this is one of the best parts of the pass, but I don't even know. We haven't gone through here yet. I just want to see what it looks like over the hump. Whoa. Oh, Gee. wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks like we've made it through parts of the pass already, and we got to go down that way. Look at that rock right there. That's pretty. Wow, this trail is awesome. I guess this is moderate in Colorado terms. It's, it's pretty awesome though. I'm just kicking it, going slow. Check it out, there's a little town down there. See? All right, so we just landed in the t small town of Ofer. I cannot believe people live out here. This place must get swamped with snow. Oh my gosh. It is pretty out here. Look at this town, like show them out there. That is pretty. It's so weird. Yeah. Middle of nowhere, people are living in these log cabins. So we're about to pull in a tiller ride. Just to drive out there, it's amazing. All right, so here's the historic district of Telluride. If this isn't the nicest town you've ever seen in Colorado, oh my gosh. It is just nestled in between these passes or these mountains or whatever you call it. Every car is like a 4x4. There's so many 4x4 trucks here. Oh yeah, thrift shop. That's it. Gotta see it. This is great. Little bike shops. Alright, so we're in historical Telluride right now. It's really pretty out here. Going in and out of shops. It's nice. I love these old buildings. They're so neat. Look at that one that's this bank right there. Jeez. It's like not too sweet. What do you think, Whitney? First impressions? It's good. Wait, we think the pizza looks good? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I want to move here one day. I do. What size should I take it? Did a uh, large latte with three shots. Good enough for today. Oh snap, ladies and gentlemen, we have a thrift shop. Pull up our hustler here in a Telluride thrift shop. There. Holy moly. That's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. so. All 
All right, we're leaving trailer ride right now. We're gonna go to the falls that's really close by. We have some pizza slices going in the back there. Yep. Okay. All right, we're on the off-road, oh, on the path to get to the falls, which is actually in the corner over there. You'll be able to see it here pretty soon. So bumpy. Dude's house. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, that was worth the drive. Tell me that was that was worth the drive. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's incredible. Holy moly. Okay, so we're heading back to Durango and we're gonna take Hermosa Park Road back in. It's another trail. But look at all this cool old stuff on the way, you know? I don't know what this is for. But that's really pretty regardless. Looks like old mining stuff. That's neat. All right, so we're on Hermosa Peak Road or something like that. Hermosa Park Road. We're on Hermosa Park Road and it is amazing out here. Wow. We haven't seen any wildlife or anything like that. But it got crazy back there. Like there was so much, ugh, there was so much, there were so many bumps back there. <laughs> we never actually got a chance to put the camera out because it was like every two seconds your head was going like this. <laughs> Man. I bet you this is where we could stargaze. Okay, so we are just, uh, <laughs> we just were going through this trail and Whitney was like, now that's a campsite. So we're going to go look at it real quick. I want you guys in the comment feed to help me out. Is this a campsite or what? Is this a vista? What do you guys think? Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. Look at that. Vertical. Oh. Holy crap. Yeah, total campsite. Look at this, the fire pit that they have here. Jeez. Look at this, guys. Can't hear anything. I don't think there's any cell signal out here, honestly. Okay, so we've been off-roading for probably two or three hours now. <coughs> They've got us lost. Yeah, we're, we're not lost, but we were following this road that looked <laughs> real sketch. I'm talking like very freaky. But I think we're finally on a road that's gonna take us back to the main highway. But check this out, look at this. I mean, I got full blown, I got all the lights going and it's about to turn pitch black out here. I mean, this is, Really cool. <laughs> this is what's so exciting about doing this. Is like there's so much unpredictable stuff that could go wrong, but I love doing this. It's just just a lot of fun. I mean, anyway, you look at it. Hey, we're about to cross a creek. No way. Holy crap. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Uh. uh that's a river. That's a creek. Holy crap. <laughs> awesome. 